Well, that's some great advice. Thanks, Danny. All right, looking at the Ogre Mountain camera. If you are going to the show, it is windy and dusty, so brace yourself for that as you travel tonight. And even some of our roadways earlier today with the fire, the smoke on I-80 with that Lakeshore fire. Wow. If you've got pictures, you can put those on our weather page at Utah's Weather Authority Facebook page. We'd love to see those. Weather headlines going into the evening here. We continue with the wind and dust and the high wind warnings. We even have wind gusts over 50 miles per hour this evening. And there are possible chances for microbursts, especially tomorrow afternoon and still a little bit of that going on this evening. Dangerous fire weather conditions do continue. Now it's 100 degrees here in Salt Lake and it is so dry. So definitely have fire weather concerns all around the state. Our wind gusts at around 40 miles per hour right now. 29 miles per hour gust in Provo and 36 miles per hour in St. George. You see all this area that's in that magenta color here. That's the really gusty wind. Winds. And today there was a lot of wind just about everywhere. You felt it across the state. Salt Lake, we had wind gusts 58 miles per hour. Mount Bald Antipa Alta at 60 miles per hour. And in Tooele at 52 miles per hour. So windy and dusty, smoke and uh, just a hazardous day as far as fire weather goes. We've got the high wind warnings and that goes through tonight and tomorrow night. And also our fire weather warning goes through tonight and tomorrow night as well because you know the deal, it's hot and dry. 100 in Salt Lake, 96 in Farmington, and 96 in Lehigh. It's warm just about everywhere here. 94 in Moab and 102 in St. George. Now, we didn't hit the record today in Salt Lake. 103 is the record, and we only made it to 100, so not quite as hot. Now, earlier this morning, we started off with some high base thunderstorms around Cache County, and we even had some drier lightning strikes and some cloud to cloud lightning, which is really interesting. And now across the eastern portion of the state, we're seeing a little bit of shower activity, which is problematic as well, because as some of that evaporation comes down, we could have those microburst winds, especially across the eastern portion of the state. Now, winds, we're feeling it everywhere going through the evening here. See the purple colors are still here. That's those wind gusts of 40 to 50. It diminishes a little bit tonight, and then we still pick up the winds again tomorrow afternoon. That's Saturday and again on Sunday as the cold front goes through. Watch what happens here with the wind, with the windy conditions, the chance for the afternoon showers. The cold front settles in on Sunday morning into Sunday afternoon, and that does increase the chance for some more isolated thunderstorms. Now for tonight, we're going to have a continued wind and dust and warm weather. 72 tonight in Salt Lake, 73 in St. George. Tomorrow, slightly cooler. Again, chances for those isolated showers, especially east of I-15 tomorrow. Blowing dust and wind, 93 in Salt Lake, 95 in St. George. Temperatures are in the 80s in southern Utah on Sunday. Hey, who doesn't like that? And then we're back to 100 degrees after that. And for the Wasatch Front, 93, wind and dust tomorrow. Isolated chances for showers, both especially east of I-15 on Saturday and then again on Sunday. And much cooler on Monday, back to the hot and dry. We've got about two more days of the wind, so just be ready for that.